Good morning. This is Bill from out of Europa, Naples, and today I have this very attractive 2013 BMW 328i sedan. Uh, you know, this is the F30 series, uh, the first uh, BMW with a series that sounds more like a Ferrari than a BMW. Came out in 2011 late, replaced the... Uh, the E90, this is the sixth generation three series from BMW. And what's shocking about that is pretty much every series they've come out with has been better than the one before it. You know, starting with the first three series, which replaced the wildly popular, popular, enunciate, the wildly popular 2002 model. That was, uh, that was a big task for BMW back then in the 70s to come up with a car that would uh, please all the people who loved that thing. Uh, this is the luxury line version, which is right up my alley. Uh, you can see it's really, really gorgeous. It, it really is, god dang, look, it's gorgeous. It's a very attractive vehicle. Look at that sharp front end, the aggressive headlights, the 18-inch styled wheels. Uh, the mineral white paint. This is a really attractive car, and I'll fight any man who says otherwise. Uh, you know, if BMW, if the 3 Series was in high school, uh, it would be like the captain of the football team. It would be the head of the chess club. It would be dating one of the nice cheerleaders. Uh, it would probably be volunteering on the weekends. It would have high SAT scores and a really bright future, and you just want to punch it you know, for doing everything so damn well. But it does, and, and that's, you know, part of what makes the 3 Series such an incredible uh, foundation of the automotive world, if you will. It's kind of the car that uh, most other makers, uh, you know, try to compete with. It's the one that's held up as, as the number one uh, competitor. You know, when Cadillac had the ATS, it was the 3 Series that it's comparing it against. And, you know, ATS is a hell of a car, but good luck, because this thing's terrific. All right, let's start inside the trunk. The styling of this car is just terrific. They made it longer, lower, just very, very cool. It has an enormous trunk space, and there you see the seats fold down as well. So if you need even more, you've got it. Uh, they give you these little pockets and compartments. I got another one over here with a bag of junk in it. Uh, you know, you're not going to want for a bigger trunk in this car. It's a nice size. This being the luxury line, it has all kinds of exterior accoutrements. You see those beautiful LED taillights, twice pipes at the bottom, little chrome strip in the bumper. Uh, just nicely. God, I love those wheels. They're such good looking wheels. 18 inch riding uh, Pirelli P7s. That's uh, that's a nice wheel tire combo. All right, back here, you've got leather rear seats. Again, this is the luxury line, so we have actual leather. Uh, you can see everything nice and proper, no issues. Uh, very comfortable place to sit. Uh, you know, it's uh, still entry level, the 3 Series, so it's not, you know, loaded up with Bentley-style wood everywhere, but the finish and the fit is nice. It's quality. It stays together. Uh, you know, BMW does a terrific job with this car. All right, we'll pop under the hood and then have a look inside. Uh, it took me a second to get this hood release going. I realized it's a double pull from inside as opposed to having a little release up front. I labored over that for like five minutes. It was obnoxious. But uh, anyway, this is a much anticipated engine for BMW. Uh, four cylinder turbo, two liters, 240 horse. Uh, you know, everyone was like, oh my God, you can't take that inline six out of this thing. You still get it in the turbo mod, they, you know, the 335 models. But it turns out this is a fantastic engine. It gives you V6 power, smooth, no turbo lag at all. You couldn't feel it if you tried. And the uh, the fuel mileage is fantastic. So it, uh, it really came together for BMW on this one. Uh, it's uh, very, uh, you know, nice to drive, plenty of pep, no discernible lag at all. And uh, through that new eight-speed automatic, it's just a great uh, drivetrain in this car. And you can see everything mint under the hood, no issues, never been up north, no salt. Uh, just very nice and proper and as it should be. Just love that new front end treatment. That low air dam with the chrome strips and the uh, angled lights, the shortened kidney grill, the rondelle. It's a good looking car. Nice big sunroof up top. Mirrors, signals, nice. Uh, also, as you can see, it's got the uh, 
lane assist so you got that triangle that lights up if someone's in your lane spot now this thing is also comfort access i believe so uh, it can be locked by pinching that guy and open just by putting your hand on the handle and of course start it the same way and somewhere if i can dig them out of my pocket you got these two keys i wish they'd make these a little bit smaller i, I mean everything's small in the world and they make keys bigger and bigger but anyway there they are two keys nice and they work fine so uh oop, before i hop in i should give you a look again real leather dual power seats heated nice comfortable uh, again this is part of that luxury line you see it indicated there very very uh cushy inside this car and again right up my alley you know i like a sports car like anyone but i'm a sucker for luxury yeah you can have both i know all right let's fire it up now bmw retained their kind of vintage style you know four round gauges which is nice uh, hearkening back to the classic look but of course they've been updated to be all oh boy there's the radio and we got a mosquito in here we'll run the window down see if i can get that little bastard out of here go on you son of a all right anyway uh there you see the updated gauges it's got the efficient dynamics thing that gives you an indication of how much fuel you're using uh the engine is direct injected so uh, you know, you get that sort of instant power, but you also hear a little pinging at start. It's a bit strange, but you get used to it. Uh, you got automatic headlights over here, fogs, nice. Multi-function steering wheel, nice little insert there. Uh, grippies at the 10 and 2, nice to grip. Uh, over here, you've got your automatic climate control, which I'll turn on. Oh, there it is. Uh, nice and chilly. Up here, you've got... Uh, self-dimming rear view compass home link that crazy bmw motion sensor that looks like a police siren nice big sunroof up top lovely lovely and then over here of course is the iDrive system uh they've updated that yeah, a few years ago to give you all direct access buttons which is nice in the old days when it first came out it was this nondescript knob and nobody knew what the hell it did it took 10 minutes to change the radio station uh, that's all a lot better now uh, so if I want to go to the radio, I can just press the radio button, shocking, and, uh, you know, scroll through the channels and FM, go over AM, satellite, so on and so forth, media, same with uh, CDs and auxiliary. You got some auxiliary and USB there. Uh, navigation, obvious. Nice big 8.8-inch screen there. Uh, comes with the upgraded tech package, and, you know, you can change this all around to how you like it. Uh, 3D map, straight map, north up, so on and so forth. Of course, it has Bluetooth. And uh, again, as the luxury version being well equipped, a very cool camera setup. So uh, here's the top view. That's the back view. Uh, if you press this guy here, you also get the front uh, uh, split screen off the bumpers. Uh, really, really nice camera setup, and you can put it however you want it. Uh, now, let's go for a spin. We'll do that. The shifter takes a little getting used to. It's all electronic. Uh, P for park. Keep foot down. Press the side button to go in reverse. Uh, side button again to go and drive. Uh, BMW gave up on all these ridiculous spring-loaded cup holders they used to have. Now they've got um, this removable tray panel for oddments. And uh, underneath it, two very American-style functional cup holders that are never going to break. Well done, BMW. Uh, now, the first thing I noticed about this car when I was driving it is how quiet it is. It's kind of like Lexus level engine silence. You know, it, it picks up when you hit it, but it's unbelievably quiet. And of course, I suppose the luxury line also has some dampening that uh, maybe they don't bother with on the sport models. It's an AC going. Now, when I stop, let's see if it does it. In this mode, Nope, start stop is off uh, probably because we just started up if I go to you know you can change all the dynamics on so we're eco pro uh, you can go into uh, comfort mode sport mode uh, it gives you correlating stuff up here tells you all the different stuff it's doing uh, very computer dynamic car this thing I mean it's if you're a tech geek you can spend a lot of time fooling around with it um, let's go all right so let me show you some of this stuff that I thought was cool. I'm going to press the menu button, go over to uh, vehicle info, and 
in, let's see, sport displays. I like this. So now we've got power and torque. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so you can rate your, you know, miscreant driving as you're going around, you know, terrorizing the neighborhood. You don't know how much torque you're putting out. Uh, it's just an incredibly computer, uh, you know, a computer, yeah centric car you've got all this stuff i mean i can't imagine myself looking at bar graphs as i'm driving down the road but uh, there it is i'm sure there's guys out there who do and uh you can you can have fun with that uh, vehicle status that goes through all the different uh stuff you know tire pressure oil level blah 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 looks like you also got an owner's manual in here if you want to uh, read that so um, anyway what can I tell you what a cool car again the 3 series just sort of the honor student of the car world to the point of being obnoxious you know I mean how do you get to be so good at sport so good at chess and probably the head of the AV club at the same time there it goes so it shut off you see we're on ready there now when I put my foot on the brake or sorry on the gas on it comes very seamlessly you can also turn that feature off with the push of a button but man does it do good things for your fuel mileage you won't believe how much mileage you get in this car it's like having a diesel uh, anyway if you have an interest give us a call 2013 328i sedan luxury line 40 ish thousand miles mint mint car beautiful color combination joy to drive you're gonna love this thing save a save a bunch of money off the sticker price of a new one and have uh, have a pretty nice car for uh, for a great price so 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com thanks so much for having a look we really appreciate it we'll see you with the next one take care